everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the free character for the latest month-long contest, April Powers, and what other way to kick off a uh, an April Powers MLC than with a superhero. So your freebie for the month is going to be Hurricane Helms, the Hurricane. He is uh, mind the art up here. He is actually a ruthless aggression acrobat. Uh, trainer ability at 9k. Botch gems do 2200 more damage flat. Links, he will have the ruthless aggression link, which is charging any color moves, charge that move by one more move point. And um, he will have a gear coming, but that is a work in progress. It'll be available in the web flash market. I will do a video on that when it comes out. So, since he is the free character, I'm going to start with a two-star build, and then I have a three-star, a four-star, and a five-star. Um, keep in mind the scaling is obviously going to be different at five-star gold than it will be at two-star gold. Um, but we're just going to get an idea of how he's going to punch up. So the two-star build we're going to go with is double blue with purple one. So the finisher is the vertebraker. 10 MP, deal 131,567 damage, choose 11 leech gems to destroy, and pin the opponent. Blue 2 is the Tilt-A-Whirl Head Scissors, 6 MP, deal 68,945 damage, and make 8 random gems into purple gems. And purple 1 is the Shining Wizard, 4 MP, Deal 59,549 damage and choose 5 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gems that will deal 28,493 damage and make 9 random gems into leech gems of strength 32,493. So 2 star build scales up quite nice at 5 star gold. The Entourage we're going to run uh, Lawler for more blue MP, Powerhouse Dawkins for more purple gems, uh, Embrace the Vision Seth for more leech gem damage. You could put Santa Hogan here as well, um, and Showboat Lacey for more purple gem damage. Um, any gem damage trainers, you know, blue or purple focus would be ideal. Uh, Seth is fairly obtainable, so I have no issue using him as a coach. And for the belt, we're going full fury. I tried to look for blue move, blue gem, purple gem uh, substats. We have a blue percent for the finisher and 30% gem damage on that. I don't have a plate equipped. Uh, I mean, a two star, you only get one trainer and no belt. Um, but I didn't bother with a plate. You could do a smoke plate whenever you break blue, get purple. Um, when I run him at 2-star, I'll just put Lawler on him. Uh, that should be enough. He does have monthly boosts, and they are currently active. So while I don't have tour perks, his MLC perks are active. So moves that generate all-color gems will create two more all-color gems. Gems do 50% more damage. And all-color moves start with two more move points. So with the 2-star build, you're going to have to swipe blue to get to the finisher. But once you get to the finisher, you can recycle fairly easily. So I'm going to go up against Hall of Fame Eddie and let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right. So monthly boosts mean this is ready to go on turn one. And we're going to make 14 random gems into purple instead of 12. That loads the countdown move. So what we're going to do...
is put out our leech gems. Um, our countdown gems, sorry. Mick just hopped across the laptop in the middle of the video, so. And then I'll swipe purple so I can get another set out. But we need these to activate before we hit the finisher. So, almost the entire board. Uh, 45 leech gems. And, uh, you know what it means when a character comes out and they have countdown gems. It means stay tuned for the run it back. Because your girl is going to slap that plate on him. So now we're going to hit the finisher. We are going to break blue. And we are going to break purple. And in the process, we're going to heal ourselves. So a mill, because of the leech gem damage counting as well. Plus we're full health. So, monthly wise, you're going to stay alive. The leech gems are really going to help. Where did his eyes go? What is happening? Jesus. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess not all heroes have eyes, right? But... Anyways, that's the two-star build. That's how that's going to scale up. Um, let's take a look at his three-star build. Three-star build that we're going to take a look at is double red with the finisher. So we're keeping the vertebraker. We're bringing in the choke slam, which is red one, 6 MP. Deal 68,945 damage and make eight random gems into blue gems. And red 2, the Tornado DDT, also 6 MP, deal 70,770 damage and modify a 4x4 four four random area into Leech Gems of strength 32,493. So Entourage for this, we're going with um, Butch for more red MP, Seth for more blue gems, other Seth for more leech gem damage, and Santa Hogan for more gem damage in general. I've kept the belt the same. Um, there isn't really a plate that does blue to red or red to blue. Like, it's usually one is nerfing the other, like for the swipe plates. Um, I mean, you could do like a two words, a blue bomber, chaotic blast, something that blows up the board. You could do Aftershock, um, Break Green, Get Red, something like that. So let's see how this goes. And because I'm Scuff, I forgot to change the uh, picture on the screen, but uh, done fixed it. So, all right. Again, monthly boosts are active, so these red moves are going to be ready to go on turn one. And we're going to make two more gems, so we're making 14 instead of 12. Charge the finisher, nice. Leave that blue match alone. Thank you! And then hit the finisher. We don't have enough leech gems to break, so we might as well break them all. Cascade into the blue match. 874,000 on turn two. And it kept them down. Surprise, it kept them down though. So that's how the three star build looks. Please put your eyes back in your head and Let's take a look at the four-star build, and I promise to change the picture. Okay, so one of two four-star builds I'm going to try. Uh, we're bringing in purple two, which is overcast, 7 MP, deal 78,549 damage, and choose a 2 by 3 area to swap into blue gems. Uh, we are going to run this alongside... Alongside? 
alongside the Shining Wizard and the Vertebraker. Um, so what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to pretend that he doesn't have the plus two, and I'm going to run double purple MP trainers, so Woods and Vince. And we're going to see, like, it's going to take a little bit of board luck, but I think we can trigger everything on turn one. Uh, we're going to keep ETV Seth, and we're going to use Santa Hogan. And the key to this is going to be the smoke plate, which I've equipped. Other than that, the belt is the same. So let's see. Um, let's, see let's see if the board is in our favor. Hmm. I don't know if I like my chances. We'll see. So we're going to put out our countdown gems. We'll just... Go over there. And now we're going to hit overcast. And what you want to do is give yourself a wild card. But you don't want to cascade into a pin. Which is why I said, like, pray for me. <laughs> Who gonna pray for me? Anyways. Uh, eh, let's go there. Don't do it! Ah. Okay. Now how can I screw this up? Oh, <gasps> I did it! Oh, it's a miracle. Heroes do exist. So, might as well put these in the places that there aren't leech gems, or put them over a leech gem that you don't plan on breaking. And now... Break a shitload of leech gems. Cascade everything. All the leech gems. All of them. Flap, flap. One. He gonna kick out. Oh my god! We even had it set up perfectly for turn one and he kicked out this motherfucker. Alright. Do it again. Do it again. Do we need these? No. Do I care? Also no. We're just gonna, you know, give ourselves some more health in the meantime. And these leech gems are doing an extra 32,000 damage. By the way. Like, they are strong. They are strong. No. That's... Yes. Like, 22,000. 25,000. Plus the 32,000 from the leech itself, which is just absolutely freaking lootly nutter bar. Be interesting to see how this scales at lower levels. But all sorts of promise up here at 5 star gold. And if you don't want to run double purple MP trainers to get things going on turn one, where you can just fail on win on turn two instead, um, if you have mutant Bailey for the finisher, that could be that could be a lethal weapon. No, I'm saying like that could be. He gonna hit hard. He's gonna hit hard. Almost a mil and a half. This is the free character, by the way. And I'm not really using anybody super hard to get. I mean, you can argue me on Seth, but, like, I spent zero money for him. He was very obtainable in his debut. But, like, good lord. You can get the smoke plate off the prize wall. That's... That's nuts. Okay, let's take a look at a secondary four-star build. All right, so variation of the four-star build. We're gonna swap the finisher for blue two, uh, the tilt whirl head scissors, and that's basically gonna give us a chance to reload the purples. So a gem chucker build with the powerful leech gem still. 
So we're going to stick with Woods, ETV, and Santa. We're going to bring in Dawkins to make more purple gems. And just chuck the gems back and forth. Keep healing ourselves. Survive. Maybe the big pin isn't like going to happen. But we'll see. Oh, that's right. His monthly. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Okay. My bad. I'm paying attention. Definitely not sidetracked thinking about building things. Um. So the belt I kept exactly the same. You, what you would, I think what would be preferred is the, um, the dreaded purple percent. That I still covet in something other than padded. I feel like that would be better and you could use um, that purple move as like a pseudo finisher. Um, I'm going to wait to use that actually. I want these to, to trigger first. See how much damage we can do. this over some leechy boys and just you know cascade into oblivion because why not and let's hit this I'm definitely liking the finisher build better, but could be a decent, um, decent boss breaker, shield breaker, purple and blue, leech gems help you stay alive, huh, maybe, huh, maybe, I don't care that I'm covering that one up, there we go. Okay, so we still did a melt. Would have been more with the purple percent, but you know, it doesn't exist. So. That's another way to use the four star move. Now let's go and take a look at the five star move. Alright, so the five star move is the cape, 8 MP blue 3, and uh, deal 90,086 damage and make 9 leech gems into red gems. So this move enables us to recycle his red moves. So we're going to run it alongside uh, double red. Entourage is going to be Butch for more red MP. Powerhouse Roman for more red gem damage, Santa Hogan for more all gem damage, and uh, Typhoon for more red gem damage. Math works out that it's better than ETV Seth. So we're doing a complete um, red gem fury build. And with that, we're keeping with the fury belt, and the plate, again, isn't really going to matter. We don't have purple moves, so it's not going to make a difference. And uh, let's see what we can get these red gems hitting for. Again, monthly boost means that this is ready to go on turn one.
and he will be generating two more gems. So 11 here, 10 here. In hindsight, maybe I should have hit red one first. But, I mean, we lucked out. Okay, we lucked out. So now we'll turn all of these into red gems. So we're doing... Oh, right, and his monthly boost makes it so this, they're 22. Plus 32. So these are going to do 54,000 damage. And heal. Jesus. This is a free character, by the way. Um, and yes, I understand that he has monthly boosts, but he's still going to be just fine when those are gone. Alright. Let's conclude the preview. Alright, so that concludes our initial look at Hurricane Helms the Hurricane. Again, he is Ruthless Aggression, so don't mind the Modern Era logo, logo on the top of his uh, card. He will have the Ruthless Ag Aggression link. Maybe another superhero or two get added to the game. That's not inside information, that's just a guess. Uh, but if we get like a Molly Holly... Give them a fun little leech gems do 50% more damage tag link or something. Just a thought. Um, but very strong for a freebie. So strong, in fact, uh, that you're going to want to stay tuned for my run it back. Because, you know, you see the countdown gem moves. You just know that I'm going to try that plate on him. So let me know what you think. Are you a Hurricane fan? Any, any Hurricane Helms marks out there? I know Zandel beat him. And then Hurricane beat The Rock, and therefore Zandal is better than The Rock. So, Zandal, time for you to get added to the game, my guy. Um, thank you all very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Deep, 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 deep,